Hello P5 students, welcome to this another video of our math 5 class and this is Miss Claire. We are now on the last chapter of our lesson and in this video we will talk about symmetry, reflection, and translation. Are you familiar with these topics children? So as we go on in this video, I will discuss these three topics one by one. Okay, let's start. Take a look on this picture children. Uh, one of the child or one child, the boy, is doing some exercise. Look at his reflection on the mirror. And the girl also is moving the table. So observe the shapes on their clothes. Are the shapes symmetry? So what do we mean by symmetry? Okay, let's start with lesson A. Complete symmetrical patterns. So this picture is a chessboard. So how is the pattern on the chessboard symmetrical? How can we draw the line of symmetry to make this board symmetrical? We can draw the diagonal line of symmetry, the horizontal and the vertical lines of symmetry. So if you know P5, you can share your answers during our class. Okay, I have here some patterns. Iman painted a six square floor tiles of a room green. So I show in the picture. He wants to paint two more tiles to form a pattern with two lines of symmetry. So one of the lines of symmetry is horizontal and the other is vertical. So which two tiles should Iman paint next? Take a look. So this is our horizontal line, the red line. So if you, we want to make the symmetry, which part of the upper one or the lower side, we will paint first. So take a look. Three tiles in the corners of the diagram are painted. For the diagram to be symmetrical, tile one has to be painted as well. Which part? Here. To make it symmetrical with this, right? So we have a green painted tile here so on the top should have also one green tile so to make it symmetry three tiles in the center of the diagram are painted these three tiles so for the diagram to be symmetrical two tiles has to be to be painted as well so you have two tiles here this one should also be painted to make it symmetry okay so now our uh, square tiles are already symmetry and we can draw the vertical line of symmetry in blue as shown. So this one is symmetry here, this one symmetry here, the two is symmetry with this one and this one on the corner and these are symmetry. So this is how to make symmetrical patterns with pipe. So we cannot put a diagonal line in the symmetry because this diagram is not a square means we can only put the diagonal line as a line of symmetry if our diagram or our shape are or is a square okay now let's have the diagonal line of symmetry so arman and ina are making a symmetrical pattern arman colored three squares in the diagram below take a look which three squares should be in a color so that the diagram has two lines of symmetry. We are going now to make a diagonal line of symmetry. This diagram is a square, so we can draw diagonal lines of symmetry here. So this part here should be symmetrical on the upper one. The red line slopes downwards from right to left. The blue line slopes downwards from left to right. Okay. Now, using two lines of symmetry to guide us, we colored square one. This is the square one. And square two, this part. And square three, three. So as you can see now, our painted squares are all symmetry according to the diagonal line of symmetry. So we can check that the last diagram is symmetrical with two lines of symmetry. It can reflect 10 units of the lines of symmetry. Now let's focus with the, this one, the red line of symmetry. If you have this purple here, on the other side should have a colored one. So they are symmetry. This is a purple color. So on this side should have also that shape painted to make it symmetry. 
Now we focus now via the blue line. So this is colored uh, purple. So this one here should be the symmetric or the reflected area. This one also is painted. So this one is the reflected. And this is a purple. So on this side also is the reflected part. So now our shape or the painted squares are all symmetrical. Okay, now let's study lesson B or lesson 2, reflect to the shapes. Okay, Ralph painted a triangle on a piece of paper. While the paint was wet, he pulled the paper along the folded line. What do you think happened? So, step 1, fold the sheet of paper diagonally in half. Then, step 2, open the piece of paper. You will see a folded line or a fold line that separates the paper into two parts. Paint this one, paint the other part, the one side. If we are going to fold the piece of paper along the fold line, what will happen? The paint in this part here will be transferred on the other side, right? That's what we call reflect. It will reflect on the other side, or the color from that side, from this side, will be transferred or will be copied on this side here. Okay, it's not transfer, it will be copied. So it will reflect. Okay, now if Rob wanted to reflect a uh, same uh, shape twice, how should he fold the paper? Hmm. Okay, so if you know the answer in five, you can share that during our class. Okay, let's have making patterns using reflection. Miss Pisa is decorating the next corner in her class. She makes patterns by reflecting shapes in both vertical and horizontal mirror lines here. The original shape is this one, the yellow shape. To reflect a shape in the vertical mirror line, this one, the line downward, count the, square, count the number of squares from its vertex, the mirror line. So this vertex here to here, okay? Then, count the same number of squares from the mirror line to get the reflected vertex. Then, step 3, join the vertices to form the reflected triangle. Okay, take a look. So, this vertex here, and it is transferred here. Vertex here, transferred here. And this one also transferred. I know, this one is reflected on the other side, right? So, this is our vertical line. So, how many squares for this one? This one, how many squares? Let's check. One. Okay. So, one square only. How about this one? How many square? So, three. And this one, two. So, what is one? From this line, this is one square. So, this one, one. Then, one, two, three. Oh, let's check along. One, two, three, four. So if, if we are going to focus here, one, two, three. So this is three. This is two. One, two. So that's that's why it's two. So the same. If this is one here, so one. It's kind of um, this is the mirror line, right? If this is two, this is also two. If this is three lot of square, this is also three square. Okay, so that's it. This one is also one. This is two squares and three squares. Take a look. One square, two squares, three squares. Okay, so that's how the making the patterns uh, using reflection. So the two triangles are reflected in the horizontal line, the uh, horizontal mirror line. Each vertex has the same distance from the mirror line as the original vertex. The shapes and sizes of the triangles are the same, but their orientations are different. Well, what is orientation? The, uh, the positioning of the shape. The size are still the same, but the position, they are already moving, right? Because we reflect them from one side to the other, okay? Now, let's move on to translation. What is translating to the shapes? Take a look here. Help Eddie to describe the positions of the two chairs from his view. 
in two ways. Use the words left and right in your description. So Eddie wants to change the position of the two chairs. So where uh, can he move the chairs from left to right? Okay, you can help him moving the chair. What other ways can Eddie move the red chair? This is the red chair. Where should Eddie move the red chair? You can use left and right. Later on in our class, let's try to try to move a chair from one place to another. Okay, take a look here. We have here a game of Salim. Salim placed a uh, triangular token on a square grid. This one. With his turn came, he moved his token to the right. But from here, he moved here. Okay. So point A or this vertex is moved five squares to the right to point D. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Five squares. This movement is called translation. So translation P5 is when you are when you are going to move a shape in a square grid from left to right or from top to bottom or bottom to top or right to left. Point B and C are translated five squares also from a left to right. So if you move five squares, the point A, of course, point B and C are also five squares to the right. Triangu so therefore, triangular ABC or triangle ABC is translated five squares to the right to triangle DEF. So that is what we call translation. Next. What do you notice about the shape, sizes, and orientations of the two triangles? Is there any changes? No. The shape of the triangle stay the same. The size stay the same. How about the orientation or the position? Still the same. What changes only? Only the exact location on the grid, right? So, from here, it moves on the different area or placement in the square grid. So, in the translation, all the points are moved the same distance in the, the same direction. Therefore, the size, shape, and orientation never change. It will remain the same. Okay? Dina uh, blocks. So, Dina is playing with some blocks on a mat with squares. She wants to move Block C, D, E, F, four squares down. So where is the new position of the block? So let's focus on, let's say, C, this one. Point C. So move four squares downward. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one, the position now is here. F also will change here, will be here. E will be moved here and the point D will be moved here. So, uh, children, as you observe, there is no changes on the size, on the shape, and the orientation. Okay? Because all the points are moved in the same number of squares. So, translation, therefore, cannot change the shape, the position, and the orientation of the shape. We just simply move. Because we did not rotate, we did not reflect the object. We just simply move it. Now, moving a table. Eddie wants to move the table in his room to a new position facing the front of his room. He moves his table five squares to the right and three squares downwards. So where is the new position of his table? So from this, okay, it will be moved here. Therefore, there are two movements that will occur here. First, move to the right, five squares to the right. Okay, let's count. This point here, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We will not stop here, if I. Next, three squares down. One, two, three. Therefore, this vertex here will be this one. Okay, this one also will be here. This point, let's see, five, then it will be three. Okay, here, three. Okay, the same. So, as you observe, the new position of the uh, table uh, will be changed. It moves five squares to the right and three squares down. So, the, again, there is no changes on the size, shape, and orientation of the shape. 
Okay, P5, that's all about chapter 18, symmetry, reflection, and translation. I hope, children, that you learned a lot in this video. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching P5, and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.